I want to bring Scott back in real quick. Uh, Scotty, these storms are getting closer to the Metroplex. I know Oklahoma had a pretty big history of hail earlier this evening. What about us with that? Hearing, uh, excuse me, hearing some reports in Runaway Bay of some pea-sized hail, but also out near the Breckenridge area, some reports of ping-pong ball-sized hail. So the potential is there going into tonight. Here is our uh, CBS 11 storm chaser, Jason McLaughlin, right now. Roadways there are wet. We're able to see some of that lightning there continuing to uh, flash there off in the distance. So a lot of lightning with these storms as they are now making their way through parts of North Texas. Coming out to uh, the maps, you're able to see that where our storm chaser is uh, right there showing up on the map saying uh, Jason, he's right there in parts of Wise County. So we're seeing all of these storms making their way down to the south and the southeast, some moving at 35 miles per hour, some moving at 37 miles per hour. So let's track these individual storms. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Cook County and Denton County. This is until 11 o'clock. This storm moving to the southeast at around 38 miles per hour. It's going to be in uh, Boulevard right around 1017 Union Hill uh, right now, actually. So that update right there, Dalton at 1024, Crum at 1028, and Den right around 1035. Remember, the threat here is the potential of winds gusting up to near maybe 60 to 70 miles per hour. For there, we've turned our attention a little bit further off towards the west. Jack County and also the west sides there of Wise County, this complex is making its way to the southeast near about 37 miles per hour. So Willow Point right around 1019, it's going to be making its way into uh, Perrin at 1020, uh, Gibtown around 1025, Draker right around 1027. So the line is broken, but it still is coming together just a bit more. You notice to the south of Breckenridge, one cell out on its own. That is making its way from north to south. So severe thunderstorm warning as well there. So let's take a look at how these storms are tracking their way down towards the south and the southeast. And as we've been watching this, the whole entire line is making its way south and southeast. I uh, want to let you know the uh, severe thunderstorm warning for Monte County has been canceled, but continuing for Cook, Den, and Wise until about 11 o'clock. All right, let me come back here and track it for you as we go through the remainder of the night. And let's switch on over. You're able to see one of our forecast models showing through the next couple of hours that line making its way closer towards DFW and the Metroplex by about 10 to 45 to near 11, sliding its way down to the south and southeast by 1130, still in the south south sides of the Metroplex with maybe those winds gusting up to 60 to 70. Um, also some pockets of some heavy rain and we can't roll the chance of maybe some large hail by about one to two that line in our south sides of North Texas but continuing uh, to drop a large amount of rain and those damaging winds and then behind that we have the cold front that will move through it will dry us out and also cool us down. So we do have a severe thunderstorm watch that remains in effect until four o'clock this morning pretty much all of North Texas, all the counties indicated in yellow. So this is what you can see on the satellite and radar combined where we have that line coming together. We do have that moderate risk of severe storms in effect. Uh, that's pretty much all of North Texas. So let's break down that severe weather risk a bit more. The tornado threats low in North Texas, mainly up towards the state line. The hail threat up to an inch and a half, it's uh, elevated for us in parts of North Texas. The bigger threats have been over the state line, but you can see there that higher threat of those damaging winds. This is what we've been looking at, the potential of those winds gusting up to near 70 miles per hour. So as we go ahead and just move on in, you're able to see that the future sky forecast would show that the rain's moving through. And then after that, going into tomorrow, we have the sunshine returning in temperatures in the mid 70s. And then we quickly warm back up into the low 90s by Saturday. Saturday and Sunday. We'll see temperatures then into the mid 80s by next Tuesday. Rain chances at 20%. We'll continue to track these storms. Don't forget to download the CBS DFW weather app and like us on our CBS DFW Facebook page. We'll update you throughout the night. You're watching CBS 11 News, the ones for Texas weather. We'll be right back.